a sticky one and one that you might run into outdoors, but you're going to want to stay away from. This is a little sticky situation right here. This is our porcupine. And he's, oh, he's, he's knocking it. his teeth together there. Yeah, oh. he's, he's talking to you. Listen to him. Let's come up here. Now, they, they cannot throw their quills. They cannot throw their quills. They have to hit you with that tail or whatever it is that they're coming at you with in order for you to be stuck. But listen to him talk. He's just putting his teeth together and making all kinds of noise, waddling around here for you. Now, they have large heads. Yeah. Like a beaver. Mm hmm And, uh, of course, they chew wood, too, like beavers. Yes. Uh, every once in a while, you can put some sticks and stuff in there, and they spend a lot of time just chewing around on them. Uh, they, they walk up here, and he sits up on top of the perch up here a lot of times, too, and just suns himself and just sleeps up there. But here again, he's, he's eating back there right now, and, and what, we're, what he's eating is the same mixture that we feed the fox. It's the same mixture that we feed the, the wolves and, and um, most of our other animals. You can see it's uh, claws, too. Oh, it does yeah. a little bit of, it has to grab the trees. This, this porcupine, the smell of this porcupine is as close to human B.O. <laughs> it really is. This smells like an entire Red Wings or Tiger's locker room. There you go. <laughs> no, lion's locker room. I correct that. Correct Whoa. That. I tell you, I don't mean to leave the pistons out, but. Yeah, well, he's, he's very strong smelling, that's true. Uh, when they do have babies, we had a baby from him and a mate uh, when we were up in the Upper Peninsula, and the, when they're born, their quills are very soft. Uh, but within a matter of just a couple hours, they stiffen right up, and, and uh, they look like this pincushion effect, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you have to handle the babies with he very heavy gloves, um, but after they get to know you once, you can bottle feed them, and they will lay their quills down, and you can hold them in your arms just like a regular other animal, and they will, will not... Um, you know, put the quills in you. Do you know of anybody who has a porcupine for a pet, or is that just totally impossible? No, it's not totally impossible. There was a fellow that uh, that uh, took that little uh, porcupine when we were up north, and, and he kept it as a pet. And oh, as yeah. far as I know, he still has it. They look a lot friendlier when they're mounted. This is a mounted porcupine. I imagine it was kind of a touchy job to do this. Back here in the tail, is where the spines are. Well, there are spines all over, especially on the back end, but the tail here, that's what they snap up. They cannot throw these spines, but if they touch you with them, they have little barbs, serrated edges on them that'll stick in your skin and you can get loads of them in there. But uh, kind of a strange feeling of porcupine. Those are all hollow as well. But you sure want to steer clear of these. They'll leave you alone if you leave them alone. That's uh, something to watch for in the outdoors.